we are going to continue on with our discussion about options in the accordion widget. We last left off with the active property. Now I want to make a very important point about how the sizing of panels works in the accordion widget. The way it works is that the default panel that we set will size according to the amount of content that we have in that default panel. So if you take a look here, we of course with the active property set the second panel as the default panel and the size of the panel was adjusted perfectly to the content. Now the way this works is the size of the default panel will be the size for all of the rest of the panels. That is the size of the content area for the second panel is applied to the first and third panels. So if we take a look at this first panel, that is why we need a scroll bar. The first panel size is taken from the second panel, which of course is now the default panel. Now if you remember in the last video, when the first panel was the default panel, the content was sized appropriately and we didn't even need a scroll bar. But now since this first panel's content area is based off the second panel's content area, that is why the jQuery UI needs to put in the scroll bar. Now let's go ahead and switch the default back to the first panel, and in this case it would be zero. And I want you to pay attention to what happens here. Keep an eye on the first and second panel. And now take a look at the first panel now. Since the first panel is the default panel, the content is now sized appropriately. And let's take a look at the second panel. Now take a look at that. We now have more space because the second panel is now based off the size of the content area in the first panel. Okay, and let's go ahead and make the uh, second panel the default again. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll hit refresh, and there you can see it's now sized appropriately. We got rid of that extra space, but now our first panel is smaller and we need the scroll bar. Now, what if you want each panel on an individual basis to size according to the amount of content it contains? That is really all the panels are on their own. They're not based off the default panel. They get to size appropriately to how much content is in the panel. And that is where the height style property really helps. So let's go ahead and add that property. And we're going to keep our active property so we can keep this second panel as the default. So let's go ahead and we'll just copy and paste this actually. And remember to add multiple properties, we just need a comma after the first property. And then the property we use is height style. And the value we want to set that to is content. And that means each panel, again, like I said, is on its own. It'll size appropriately to how much content is in that panel. And there is the value, content. So keep an eye on all the panels now. So let's save this. Let's refresh our page. Now, of course, the default panel, as we know, will size appropriately. But let's take a look at the first panel. Take a look at that. That now sizes appropriately. So that's how the height style property works. Okay, thanks as always for watching.